की मैरिटाइम इंडस्ट्री तीव्र गति से रीजनल और ग्लोबल ट्रेड की एक नई तस्वीर बना रही है जिसमें ग्लोबल ट्रेड इंक्रीजिंग लॉजिस्टिकल एफिशिएंसी, मोर एम्प्लॉयमेंट एनवायरमेंट फ्रेंडली रिड्यूस कॉस्ट जैसे बड़े मुद्दों पर काम कर नई क्रांति के रूप में देखा जा रहा है जहाँ पर पिछले कुछ समय से भारत के पोर्ट्स की कैपेसिटी डबल होने के साथ साथ पोर्ट्स की कनेक्टिविटी पर पिछले दिनों बहुत काम किया गया है और साथ ही भारत ने आईएनएस विक्रांत के रूप में ग्लोबल प्लेटफॉर्म पर मेक इन इंडिया मुहिम का एक बहुत बड़ा प्रदर्शन भी किया है जिसने भारत में शिपिंग की मैन्युफैक्चरिंग इंडस्ट्री को दी है एक नई पहचान तो ऐसे में ग्लोबल मैरिटाइम इंडिया समिट दो की हो गई है बेहतरीन शुरुआत जो दे सकती है मेरीटाइम इंडस्ट्री को एक नया आकार एक तरफ देश के प्रधानमंत्री द्वारा लॉन्च कर दिए गए हैं चार नए बड़े प्रोजेक्ट्स तो दूसरी तरफ महाराष्ट्र राज्य के मुख्यमंत्री द्वारा स्टेट मेरीटाइम पॉलिसीज को और बेहतर और फ्लेक्सिबल बनाने के चलते दिया जा रहा है जोर ताकि केंद्र सरकार के सागर माला की कामयाबी की तरह मेरीटाइम इंडस्ट्री को हर लेवल पर कॉस्ट इफेक्टिव मोर एम्प्लॉयमेंट अपॉर्चुनिटीज इन्वायरमेंट फ्रेंडली मोर लॉजिस्टिकल एफिशियंसी के मार्ग पर एफिशियंटली ग्लोबल स्तर पर आगे बढ़ाया जा सके तो ऐसे में द ट्रू हंट ने की ग्लोबल मेरीटाइम इंडिया समिट 2023 से जुड़ी कुछ खास चर्चा वहां पर मौजूद अंतरराष्ट्रीय और राष्ट्रीय स्टेक होल्डर्स के साथ तो आइए ले चलते हैं और सुनाते हैं कि उनका क्या है कहना सर ऑफ कोर्स वी नो अबाउट यू दैट द रूट आर फ्रॉम इंडिया बट यू आर वर्किंग विद मेरीटाइम इंडस्ट्री इन सिंगापुर सो बींग एट दिस ग्लोबल मेरीटाइम इंडिया समिट टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी थ्री हाउ डू यू सी फ्रॉम द सिंगापुर परस्पेक्टिव आई वर्क वेरी क्लोजली विद मेरीटाइम एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन द एम पी ए इन सिंगापुर आई वर्क फॉर एन इंश्योरेंस कंपनी वे वी प्रोवाइड थर्ड पार्टी इंश्योरेंस टू शिप्स विच इंक्लूड सी फेर एंड डे क्लेम्स एक्सेट्रा सो दैट्स हाउ वी कैन कॉन्ट्रीब्यूट बिकॉज माई कंपनी द शिप ओनर्स पी एन आई क्लब इंश्योर्स क्लोज टू थर्टी फोर थाउजेंड वेसल्स विच इज द लार्जेस्ट इन नंबर ऑफ एनी इंश्योर सो वी गेट अ लॉट ऑफ डेटा ड्यू टू विच वी एनालाइज द स्टेटिस्टिक्स एंड इट्स इंपॉर्टेंट बिकॉज वी ट्राई टू शोकेस टू द इंडस्ट्री वॉट इज ब्रोकन एंड दैट नीड्स टू बी फिक्स एज यू हैव नेम सी फेर सो वट काइंड ऑफ अपॉर्चुनिटीज आर सीन फ्रॉम दिस काइंड ऑफ इवेंट फॉर सी फेर टेकिंग अ स्टेप फ्रॉम हियर आई थिंक द पॉइंट्स डिस्कस ड्यूरिंग द फोरम आई हेव सीन आर गुंड बी क्वाइट रेलिवेंट एस्पेशली वे पीपल्स ट्राई एंड डिस्कस दैट विद ऑटोनोमस शिप्स कमिंग वॉट इज द फ्यूचर ऑफ सी फेर आई रेड समवे दैट इट्स गोइंग टू बी दैट अ रिमोट कंट्रोल ऑपरेटर विल बी डेजिग्नेटेड एज अ सी फेर एंड आई एम सिंग होल्ड ऑन मिनट वाई कॉन्ट बी ट्विस्टेड राउंड एंड से अ सी फेर कैन बी डेजिग्नेटेड एज अ रिमोट कंट्रोल ऑपरेटर सो वाई शुड बी पुट सी फेर आउट ऑफ द इक्वेशन रादर दैन एक्चुअली वी कैन अपस्किल दैम एंड गिव दैम ऑपरचुनिटी वेर यू आर सींग इंडिया फाइव ईयर्स फ्रॉम नाउ इट इज ऑलरेडी अ मैरिट टाइम वेरी स्ट्रॉग पावर बट वी जस्ट हैव टू मेक श्योर आर सी फेर आर स्किल्ड ऑटोनोमस शिप्स आर कमिंग वी कैन वेट एंड वॉच टू सी वॉट द आई एम ओ डिसाइड्स वी नीड टू स्टार्ट अपस्किलिंग नाउ वी नीड टू स्टार्ट teaching our people proper leadership because the problems we see fairers have that our masters degree is not even recognized as an equivalent in universities outside sir lastly my question is as you are working in singapore so comparing singapore maritime industry with indian maritime industry what are the differences if they are or we are ahead of singapore now what would you like to say on both are amazing in their own way but i think what um, the indian administration can do like how singapore models singapore engages the local community a lot so i'm a warden of the company of master mariners here we have ime we have a lot of professional bodies here with a lot of expertise so for policy making i think the government should use these institutions they should form those task force a working committee which actually should be more of quality not quantity but people who can deliver new ideas etc and with that kind of feedback from the industry and then the government makes policy so it's a bit of a win win situation we could say that indian uh, uh, political system it has got center and state governments uh, differently so as i could take from your point that one approach should be there to achieve the target absolutely i think it's one voice one seafarers one shipping one country just last words are you happy with the current growth it's magnificent on, on all aspects i mean last 10 years ago everyone used to think india is just like slum dog million hai and then now it's come to a force to reckon with and modi ji has kind of done that right now we went from slum dog million to sachin tendulkar and now it's narendra modi and that's the way it's supposed to be lead from the top that respect that's being generated over there in the global community getting six all the time hitting sixes all the time and not even on a t20 field on a full field you know sir we have seen the grand start of uh, the global maritime india summit 2023 so how do you see it and what are the expectations from this grand start excellent start off what you said is right absolutely this is the third summit mis3 prime minister 
Honorable Narendra Modi leading from the front and claiming to have signed 10 lakh crore MOUs. And this is also going to take on a very next step, the Indian logistics. Very important sector because we have to bring that logistic cost. And for that model shift must happen. So Global Maritime India Summit is focused at doing that, changing that model shift from railways to the, or roads to the sea. More partners are involved here. I have seen 170 plus countries taking part. So there's a huge crowd and a lot of uh, energy has been put into this uh, global summit. I'm telling you maritime is the future for country. Sir, as you said, maritime is the future for the country. So I would like to ask you that it has been seen that the collaboration of centre and state makes things happen more effectively, more efficiently. So, Maharashtra has set an example, collaborating with center, implementing the policies. So, what do you think uh, to make all this success all over India? So, what kind of approach should be there so that the success of this grand event should be implemented and effectively seen in whole India? See, the 10 lakh crore MOU speaks volumes about the business prospects. Now, in a corporate style, what the government should do is put KPIs, the performance indexes to these MOUs, put target dates and execute them because we somehow lack in execution. State has come forward and been the same government in state and centre has really augmented the entire growth. Maritime will be the future if we really execute these 10 lakh crore MOUs now and Prime Minister leading it from the front himself will really put a lot of energy into it. All three ministers present here today, all two chief ministers of Goa and Maharashtra. Maharashtra maritime policy requires to be revamped and I am sure with the both chief ministers together, Maharashtra and Goa, with the central minister, it's not a day away. Sir, uh, talking about the Maharashtra policies related to the maritime, so what are the expectations from that? Could you elaborate? See, after 26-11, the entire Maharashtra maritime coastal security policy has come under scrutiny. Though Maharashtra is the number one state in investments and FDIs, but nothing we are doing in the maritime sector. That means the entire maritime coast of 750 km is lying idle for investment. So I think Maharashtra Multi-Time Policy which has been rolled out now in 2023 May, I think that has got a lot of potential for the investors to invest. That's going to have a lot of uh, implications in Maharashtra's maritime policy. I'm very happy to work myself as well with the Maharashtra maritime policy only to see that it is executed well. So we could say that heading a All India Pilot and Seafarers Marine Association. So we could say that everybody is happy with the current state, what the government is effectively implementing this maritime policies and this global event. See, maritime associations are very happy with the government, the way it is going. But at this point in time, the scope is very high and our speed of execution is very low. So that has to be matched. Associations also will come forward to help government to implement things. But the government must make use of the associations like CMI, IMEI, Global Met. Uh, there are many associations in India which are ready to help government. And idea is to government using them effectively, collaborating with them as well and taking it forward. Sir, being uh, from the maritime industry, what is your take on today's event which has got a grand start? I think it is an historic momentous moment that the growth which has gained momentum in India over the last few years is going to be taken up to the next level and we see a lot of MOUs being signed. I see that India is going to be the next global hub for seafarers. Thank you. Sir, uh, you are happy with where we are today in the maritime industry as seeing the Sagar Mala project has been a grand success which has given to this industry. For a beginning I am I can say I am happy but we are a long way to go. The 14 clusters of the Sagar Mala project, the port-led development as the Honorable Prime Minister just said is yet to actually culminate. We have made a beginning, it will take some time, it doesn't happen overnight. But yes, this is the way or this is the path for the growth of India. I would think that going ahead about 5 to 10 years, this will be a grand success.